What's up guys, Dr. Aaron Macdon here with Revival Performance Physical Therapy. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a stretch for your hip and kind of the back of your butt muscle. And what it's really stretching is your posterior capsule. So what that means is, say this is your acetabulum, so like the, the socket part of the hip, and then this is the head of the femur, and it sits in that acetabulum just like that. So a lot of times we'll get tight, maybe after a surgery or just from tight hip flexors or whatever, and it'll kind of pull forward, letting that, that hip pull forward there and it'll be even tighter here in the back and the posterior capsule. So what this does is kind of helps let that hip sit back into the acetabulum a little bit more and stretch that posterior capsule of the hip. So what you're gonna do is get in what's called a quadruped position. That's a fancy term for on your hands and knees. And ideally you're gonna be off the, your feet are gonna be off the table or your bed most likely. Um, just a little bit, just so you can do this next one. So on your hands here, and I'm gonna be doing, stretching the left hip here. So with this, you're here, with this other leg, you're gonna cross it over that other foot, and then you're just gonna sit back, almost like you're doing about to do a child's pose, but you're gonna sit back. You may not actually touch the ground, but just get into that position where you're scooting back like that. Try not to really twist your trunk a whole lot like this. So kind of stay neutral in your low back so you're not arching a whole lot or bending a whole lot, but you're kind of staying neutral, not flexing to one side or the other. And then sit back, kind of pushing your butt backwards, trying to almost like you're trying to sit on this other foot. But in that position, you'll feel a lot of stretch right there in your glute. Hang out for the prescribed time. Have fun.